how does one explain to a non-Muslim what is the karamat? When we have the idea of explaining what is karamat, in our context, it is karamat that those people that brought Islam to uh, the Muslim community of the Western Cape or into South Africa, and they were the pioneers. Remember, although they were the pioneers and those who bring, brought Isla Islam to South Africa, doesn't mean that a person should make, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm, I'm choosing my words properly because people are quick to change our words, you know, that the karamas are not places of worship. They're not places where we go ask Allah for for yabni. It is not places that we adorn as if it is a, a place of worship. It's a place of a burial of a particular person that has brought somewhere, somehow Islam to us. That particular karamat can't help you. We read in the Salah, إِيَّاكَ نَعْبُدُ وَإِيَّاكَ نَسْتَعِينَ Oh Allah, to you alone we worship and from you alone we seek help. Yes, the wasila of asking of Allah on behalf, I mean, through the barakah of this particular person, accept my dua. But dua should be directed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and not by anybody you asking the karama to yap you, you asking this. No. It is only a place where a particular person had brought Islam to, to, to South Africa and in our minds they were salih people, but I was said again, not making places of worship because it is shirk. Mm. And not asking that people to yap because tilka ummatun qad khalat laha ma kasabat wa lakum ma kasabtum. These are people that they had their lives and they are gone. Allah will reward them for, for their good deeds and Allah will reward you for your good deeds.